Larry King once told me that you have to be curious in order to, to do well in, in, the, in this job. I'm curious. I'm interested in other people. And it's sort of funny that um, Larry was the longest, longest anchor on cable news. Now I am which is sort of funny because I've been in anchor since 1995, which is hard to believe. Just hours ago, President Obama pledged to the people of Libya that we will stand by them. But now a million people like to tune in at night and watch you cover the day's news. How do you identify with that many people? Do you talk to them as friends, as constituents? Do you think of the Fox News audience as members of one big club? I ignore the cameras. Um, I'm a Midwestern, very proud of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that I talk to them, not at them. I really don't like the, the uh, camera part where we're so, yeah, you sort of, I actually like, like blogging better mm -hmm. because there's more interaction. I don't like talking at the camera. I hope that the viewers who are watching think that I'm at least have some idea of what matters to them. You have this passion for the law and trials and cases, but you also are really into politics. Uh, big supporter of Sarah Palin. I'm not a big supporter of Sarah Palin. I'm, I'm a big supporter. I mean, it's this okay. important yeah. distinction. I'm a big supporter to make sure that the women get treated fairly, not extra special, but that they not be mistreated. And so that has been somehow uh, corrupted into thinking that I'm, quote, a big supporter of Sarah Palin. If you look at what I said about uh, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and all her races, whether for the Senate uh, or for president when she ran, I said the same things. Give them a level playing field. Totally agree. Okay. Now, again, with such a big audience and we're looking at the idea of power as the ability to build and maintain a constituency or move people to, to action. Do you see having such a big audience as a power or a responsibility? Both. I mean, it's a power. I mean, Fox is a huge platform. Mm -hmm. And uh, I suspect if I walked off Fox today that I'd have no power. I mean, I'm not, I'm not so you know, foolish about that. So that's, that's where we get the power is from the enormous megaphone that we have. Um, but it's also responsibility. I, you know, I work for somebody in the sense that uh, I work for the people. I mean, obviously, Fox pays my salary, but my job is to get information for the viewers and to develop stories for the viewers, and I take that very seriously. I mean, it, uh, I think anybody who uh, cares about his job takes it seriously, and, and so it's a responsibility, but there's also an, a lot of power. So I wanted to ask you, who do you think is the most powerful woman in the world? Well, right now, I suppose the most powerful woman is Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Um, you know, she, she is, and she's different than most Secretary of State. I've traveled with her a couple times, and when she lands in a country, it might as well be the President of the United States. It's because the whole world knows her. They knew her as First Lady. Um, she's tireless. She works nonstop. I've never seen anyone work like she does. She's smart. She doesn't give up. Um, she cares. You know, people may not agree with her, but I can tell you she works very hard for the American people. And unlike some of the um, some of the political people, like whether it's Governor Palin or, or Representative Michelle Bachman, is that she actually has the power now. They may ultimately get the power, but she has it now. One of the things that I've noticed you've done, you know, in an ability to connect with the audience is you blog a lot. You're really love blogging. Social media. I love I mean, blogging. You blogged, there was a blog post minutes before you walked into our office. So um, how has that helped you? The blog gives me a chance with social media to actually interact with people. That's what I like. That's the fun part. I don't want to talk to myself and with a camera in the, in the studio. In some ways, you, you can oftentimes feel like you're talking to yourself. Right. So I love the blogging. I love that. That's the most fun.